Buried beneath the ashes of time, Pompeii continues to unveil its secrets, hidden for centuries. Now, the untouched Regio 9 district is revealing astonishing discoveries that could rewrite history books. This room, where we find two bats on the wall, might seem small at first glance. But with imagination, we see it was once a warm room used for winter meals. Like Pompeii itself, meticulously preserved frescoes paint a vivid picture of ancient life, while enigmatic artifacts challenge our knowledge of Roman culture. These finds are not just remnants, but windows into the past. Pompeii's story begins around 600 BC, when the Oscans, an ancient Italian people, settled in the fertile Campania Plain. The city grew rapidly under Greek and Etruscan influence, becoming a thriving city of about 20,000 people, with temples, theaters, baths, shops, villas, and public buildings. Pompeii was not just a commercial hub, but also a vibrant cultural center. Its streets and homes were adorned with frescoes, mosaics, sculptures, and inscriptions, reflecting the city's rich artistic life. On a hot August day in 79 AD, the people of Pompeii were going about their daily lives, enjoying life, unaware that Mount Vesuvius's fury was about to engulf the entire city. Initially, thick smoke and ash rose into the sky, followed by dark clouds that plunged the city into darkness. As lava and hot rock fragments rained down from the volcano, the truly terrifying event was yet to occur. Extremely hot ash flows, known as pyroclastic flows, descended rapidly from the slopes of Vesuvius at speeds exceeding 70 kilometers per hour, obliterating everything in their path within seconds. The people of Pompeii were clueless in the face of this disaster. Many abandoned the city in panic, while others sought refuge in buildings or underground, desperately trying to survive. However, the deadly ash layer grew thicker, burying the entire city under four to six meters of volcanic material. People, animals, buildings, all were trapped beneath this relentless blanket of ash. Pompeii, with no chance against this merciless force, transformed from a vibrant city into a ghost town in just a day or two. It's incredible to think that this disaster both destroyed and preserved Pompeii. All the houses, belongings, and even human bodies were trapped in solidified ash for centuries, as if resisting time itself. If Mount Vesuvius hadn't erupted, we wouldn't have this unique time capsule of Roman life today. Though the volcano was a deadly force, it also gave us an extraordinary archaeological gift, a window into the past. The date of Pompeii's destruction was long believed to be August 24, 79 AD. However, new evidence suggests this catastrophe might have occurred later in the year, perhaps in October or November. An inscription found during the city's restoration efforts is a key clue to this new timeline. This inscription, written in charcoal, uses the Roman calendar system to mark the date as the 16th day before the Calends of November, which translates to October 17th. The inscription's temporary nature suggests it was likely written while a wall was being prepared for a fresco renovation. Archaeologists believe this date was recorded in 79 AD due to the quick fading of charcoal markings. Another piece of evidence supporting this new timeline is the discovery of autumn fruits and thick clothing among the remains. Such clothing wouldn't have been used in the scorching August heat of the region. These discoveries suggest the eruption might have actually occurred in mid-October. This new date raises many possibilities. Did the eruption happen later than we always believed? While layers of ash and history still conceal some parts of this ancient city's story, scientists continue to delve into the clues left behind. For centuries after Mount Vesuvius's eruption, Pompeii lay forgotten, buried beneath layers of ash and debris. Its location was lost, its tragic end fading into the mists of time. But the city wouldn't remain hidden forever. In 1594, an architect digging a canal near Naples stumbled upon ancient walls emerging from the earth, sparking a fervent quest to uncover the remains of this once magnificent Roman city. The initial excavations were chaotic, driven by treasure hunters eager to plunder and sell valuable artifacts. Priceless frescoes were shattered, lost forever. In 1748, systematic and careful excavations began under the leadership of Austrian engineer Karl Weber. Weber meticulously cleared the debris, revealing the city's streets and buildings. In subsequent periods, 
archaeologists used early techniques to unearth homes, shops, and public structures. However, excavating Pompeii is a daunting task due to the massive amount of material that needs to be removed. Even today, with advanced modern technology, only about two-thirds of this vast city has been uncovered. Discoveries continue to this day. One of the most striking finds are the voids within the ash layers where human bodies completely decomposed. Excavation experts poured plaster into these voids, creating delicate casts that capture the victim's poses and expressions at the moment of death. From gladiators to aristocrats, merchants to slaves, Vesuvius's volcanic ash granted a peculiar immortality to many of Pompeii's citizens. As excavations progress, stories that vividly illustrate daily life in the ancient world continue to emerge. The rediscovery of Pompeii offers an extraordinary opportunity to walk in the footsteps of Romans who lived 2,000 years ago. We can now explore this city as it was in its final days, preserved for centuries and brought back to light through excavations. One of the most recent and exciting discoveries in Pompeii is the excavation of Reggio 9, a central area of the city that had not been fully explored before. This new excavation, which began in 2017, focuses on Insula 10, which includes two large houses, a bakery, a laundry, and several workshops. Excavations at Insula 10, which first began in 1888, were left unfinished and only partially documented. Now, archaeologists aim to complete the exploration of Insula 10 and study its history, architecture, decoration, and function. As the excavations continue, new details about the lives of Pompeii's inhabitants are coming to light. The discovery of Reggio 9 offers a fresh perspective on how people lived, worked, and interacted in this ancient city. In the alleyways of ancient Pompeii, the delicious aroma of freshly baked bread wafted from brick ovens and bustling bakeries. These lively shops were not just places to buy bread, but also community hubs where people chatted, shared news, and enjoyed a tasty snack. In one such bakery unearthed in Reggio 9, archaeologists made an incredible discovery. They found the remains of an oven and mill, partially preserved by volcanic ash. But the real treasure was next to it, a beautifully painted fresco. This two 000-year-old artwork depicted flatbreads adorned with fish, poultry, dates, pomegranates, and other delectable toppings. The fresco showcased a feast of flatbreads displayed on a counter for customers to savor. The breads, with their crispy bases, were topped with both familiar and exotic ingredients. While pomegranate seeds, fish, and poultry were common in Roman cuisine, one ingredient stood out, a fruit that looked like a pineapple. Unknown in the ancient Mediterranean, it's now believed this fruit might actually be a pine cone, a symbol of hospitality. Others believe it could be a pomegranate or a fragrant citrus fruit. Whatever the true identity of the mysterious ingredient, the fresco offers a fascinating glimpse into the dietary habits of an ordinary Pompeii resident. These flatbreads, baked daily in the oven's hearth, were consumed by customers with a variety of creative toppings, much like today's Neapolitan pizza. This extraordinary painting, preserved in Reggio 9, captures a vibrant moment. Depicted in vivid colors and intimate details, citizens gather in a bustling bakery, enjoying meticulously prepared flatbreads. We can almost imagine the scene. Laughter, conversations, the enticing aroma of bread, and the vibrant life of Pompeii, forever frozen by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. But the secrets of this bakery extend beyond delicious bread. In one corner of the structure, a small window with iron bars reveals a dark truth. Researchers believe this bakery also served as a type of prison. It's likely that slaves and animals were forced to work in this cramped and airless space, performing arduous tasks like grinding grain and baking bread. This discovery serves as a stark reminder of slavery and class disparities in Roman society. This fresco not only shows us the food, but also brings to life the culture and daily activities of ancient Pompeii, connecting us to the lives of those people, people who lived and ate there in those very ancient times. The tragic human remains found in the laundry in Reggio 9. After the discovery of the famous fresco, excavations continued in the area, leading to even more fascinating findings. 
As archaeologists explored the ancient neighborhood of Reggio 9, they stumbled upon a modest laundry filled with laundry tools from 2,000 years ago. This laundry was once bustling with activity. Clothes were washed, dyed, and dried under the hot Campanian sun. But when Vesuvius erupted, the laundry workers had only minutes to seek shelter within the thick walls. Their hiding place tragically turned into an ashy tomb. One of the most remarkable discoveries was the remains of three victims found in a room where clothes were washed and dyed in the laundry. The victims included a child aged three or four and two adults, one wearing a woolen cloak. The child was lying on a wooden bed, while the adults were found on the floor near a staircase leading to the upper floor. The bodies, encased in hardened ash, were carefully analyzed by an anthropological team. Computed tomography, x-rays, and DNA tests were used to determine their ages, genders, health, and possible relationships. The results revealed that the child was male, and the two adults were also male, one aged 18, 25, and the other 30, 40. The presence of compression fractures in the younger adult's spine suggests a life of hard labor, while the older adult had a robust physique and traces of a beard. DNA tests showed that the two adults were not related, but the child's DNA could not be extracted. The presence of the child and the woolen cloak in the laundry suggests they might have been part of a wealthy family, possibly the owners of the business or regular customers. This discovery paints a vivid picture of life and tragedy in Pompeii, emphasizing the sudden and devastating impact of the eruption. Another fascinating find from the excavation is the uncovering of two stunning frescoes in the courtyard of a house adjacent to a bakery. These frescoes, depicting scenes from Roman and Greek mythology, are of high artistic quality and add a rich layer to our understanding of ancient Pompeii. The first fresco portrays Poseidon, the powerful god of the seas, and a nymph, one of the daughters of Danaos, the king of Argos. These vivid images capture moments of legend and myth. Behind the charming shops and bakeries once stood magnificent houses belonging to the wealthy elite. In Reggio 9, these houses are now being rescued from their rocky tombs, adorned with mythological frescoes. As excavations continue, beautifully decorated courtyards and luxurious furnishings are emerging. In one of the Roman houses, a vibrant fresco depicting legends from Greek mythology was uncovered. The mural portrays the moment when Poseidon, the god of the sea, chases the nymph Amimone, daughter of King Danaos. They are depicted with such lifelike expressions and flowing garments that they seem ready to leap from the wall. This scene, frozen in time at the moment of Vesuvius's eruption, defies the passage of centuries. Nearby, archaeologists discovered the remains of wooden furniture, burnt and damaged during the disaster. Chests, tables, and shelves were found collapsed and charred beneath fallen ceilings and walls, offering glimpses into domestic life abruptly abandoned when the volcano struck. In another villa, mythological frescoes in vibrant colors have also survived. These frescoes capture robed Greek gods depicted in scenes from Homer's epics. Among them is a fragmented image showing the moment when the hero Odysseus outsmarts the siren's deadly song. These dazzling fragments of wall art offer just a glimpse into the opulence of Reggio 9's lost private residences. They also shed light on the literature and legends that captivated the imaginations of Pompeii's privileged classes before the city's tragic end. As excavations continue, more household treasures will emerge, telling their stories suspended in the moment Vesuvius's ashes buried them. The richly decorated and furnished villas of Reggio 9 will continue to reveal more about the affluence and aesthetics of Pompeii's upper class. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD left behind traces of unimaginable devastation. However, few discoveries among the ruins of Pompeii are as heartbreaking as the remains of a newborn baby and a pregnant woman. These tragic findings offer a poignant glimpse into the horrific realities faced by the city's most vulnerable inhabitants as they desperately sought shelter from the volcanic onslaught. During meticulous excavations of the ancient city, archaeologists unearthed the remains of a newborn child lying beside the body of a woman. This tragic scene suggests that the woman gave birth during the catastrophe. Elsewhere in the city, the remains of a pregnant woman were found. Her pregnant belly, evident in the plaster cast, indicated she was about 36 weeks along, 
likely preparing for her child's arrival. Sadly, the eruption claimed both their lives, robbing the baby of the chance to take its first breath. The story of Reggio 9 isn't just about elegant buildings. Some of the most intriguing finds lie in an unfinished construction site, miraculously preserved by the eruption that sealed Pompeii's fate. Recent excavations, particularly in Insula 10, have unearthed a trove of information revealing not only daily life, but also the remarkable ingenuity of Roman engineering 